Okay. Um, I think for me, uh, number one, I, I'm a big fan of like shows like Catfish, Ghosted, anything that's like relationship uh you know involving and also the, the psychology behind all of that stuff is truly fascinating for me and as a person who has had an experience of you know being hidden by some a, a partner um my specific circumstance was because um my partner was not out with her family and because of that you know i was collateral damage you know i couldn't didn't meet friends didn't meet family it was like i was an embarrassment um, because i was literally the external representation of this sexuality that um that person was not comfortable with yet and so i came at it, at it from a level of empathy in that regard um but i just also love mess it is so messy <laughs> truly at the same time so <laughs> i know i know Travis, and I must say, by the way, you have amazing parking skills. I just want to point that out. I was like totally impressed with the parallel parking. I, I just have to just say that. But um, <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. I mean, yeah, I, I feel like uh, I feel like I got the gig just just because of my driving, right? Like it's way cheaper <laughs> really, than you're Uber. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's way cheaper than Uber. So yeah. thank God I, I have a show. I have a show. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah. So did you, you know, was there something coming from a personal aspect for you too with this or, or were you just like, this is messy. I want to do it. Uh, well, I mean, I think I have a lot of experience, obviously, uh, you know, I've worked with MTV a ton in the past and, you know, I, I shot two seasons of ghosted, which similar, but different, you know, ghosted is about two people who were together at one point in their lives, but for some reason or another separated and they haven't been able to get in contact uh, and so you're kind of reconnecting these two people. With this show, it's an active relationship. These are people who are with each other every day. They've been together for you know years sometimes. Um, but there's there's big red flags and there's like obvious holes where the relationship might look great on paper, but there's something wrong with the dynamic. And and that's where Ronnie and I come in. Um, and yeah, like like Ronnie said, it's messy. It's dramatic. It's exciting. It's chaos. Uh, and I'm very grateful that I get to be the host and, and not the subject of a show yeah. like this. <laughs> Next. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. So, I mean, you guys really do have some great digging skills. Like you're investigative reporters here finding like these people in their lives. Um, how do you go about sort of, you know, peeling back the layers of the onion, so to, so to speak, when you're, you know, doing one case? I mean, I think uh, a lot of it has to do with the fact that a lot of this is social media based, right? Uh, and social media, absolutely, like we we kind of kind of work with a already pre-established um, kind of a framework to work around. We have a tool at our disposal, uh, and, and uh, fortunately and unfortunately for this generation, we're very online, and you can track down a lot about a person. Uh, through social media, whether it's through their follower count or who likes their photos, who's commenting, you know, all that good stuff. And, and it really kind of serves as a springboard for our, our investigations. And from there, you know, we're, we're actively reaching out to random people. They're like, who, who, who are you? You're working with MTV. You want to talk to me about what? And so um, I think it's really fun. And thank goodness that they, they feel comfortable enough uh, with Travis and myself to want to, to wanna participate, which helps us. And yeah. some people don't, some people don't, but for the most part, you know, our persuasion skills uh, went out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys are, you are very charming and fun. I mean, it's, just, it's serious too, but you also kind of bring a little bit of levity to the point where I'm sure you get their comfort. I like, did you have any problems like talking to somebody and then did you turn them around during the season or was that quite often? I mean, I think by nature, people are hesitant, you know, to come on the show. Like it's, it's never the most inviting thing when you show up with, you know, cameras and, you know, crew and, and, a, and a bunch of things. So you catch a lot of people off guard. And so there is some massaging that is necessary in a situation like that. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, the stakes are really high. So if, you know, the, the, the partner in the relationship who contacted Ronnie and I, a lot of times they're at their wits end. They're, they're, they're at this point where it's like, either I get answers or this relationship is over. Um, and people tend to come to the table and sit down and have real conversations when uh, they're presented with something like that. Yeah. You know, and I also, these kind of shows can also be a little, 
I don't even want to use the word dangerous, but maybe even risky in the sense that you may get like a very big explosive reaction. How do you handle some of the, the bigger reactions as far as de-escalating that? I mean, that's a good question because like, like you said, we definitely had some certain uh, the circumstances where we saw glass flying, you know, and you know, we, we're not trying to get hurt <laughs> and we don't want anybody else to get hurt. Uh, but I think it's just like Travis was saying, like just kind of massaging the situation and, and, and always reaffirming that while we're here to get you answers, we want to approach this with a level of understanding and a level of love, because that's essentially what brought you to reach out to us. You are at your wit's end, but you believe in this relationship and you want this relationship to work. So once we present them with that, and that also, if you come in here trying to throw glass, that person is absolutely going to shut down. I mean, I would not want to talk to somebody that just threw some glass, you know, <laughs> like that would not be an inviting situation. So it's, it's yeah. really, you know, trying to make both parties comfortable and saying that, you know, if you want this to work out, you're going to have to come at it with a level head and not lead with emotion. And it's hard to do, but, you know, for the most part, we, we were able to be successful in that and have some really profound conversations. Well, that's good. Yeah. Because yeah. that's always, you know, shoot the messenger and yeah, <laughs> and, that, and that can happen. That can happen. Now I saw one episode and of course I was, you know, whiplash and, and, and they, you know, it's nice how they come, you know, you have the story and they end with, some sort of resolution one way or the other. Um, were there, was there anything that like just shocked you, floored you during this season that you really didn't see coming at all? Um, there was a proposal that Ronnie and I got to witness, which I've never, I've never yeah. been next to any, I, I've had no experience with that. Uh, I don't want to give anything away, but yeah. it didn't, yeah. it didn't go amazing. <laughs> go I mean, I have I had some experience with proposing, um, and thank goodness that yeah, you had success I with had proposing. Success. Yeah. So I can definitely under, yeah. I understand that level of nerves when you go in and you're like, listen, this might not go well, and this was from a a very healthy and communicative relationship. On this end, you know, you're coming off of like some real interesting stuff, and I'm like, that's 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 a bold move to really want to. <laughs> go that far under these conditions but yeah that was yeah that's a good one Travis yeah that's that is that is shocking um and was there anything that you did leading you know into the show just to sort of prepare yourself for how it was going to go and 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 just sort of research skills or just how you were going to kind of bring people together I dated 20 people all at once um and <laughs> no I'm kidding uh, <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> No. I'm like, tell me uh, more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just, I just made sure that Instagram and Twitter were updated so that I could, uh, I could search and, and, and lurk, you know, to the best of my abilities. Okay. So no, like any classes or nothing. You didn't like do any, just, this was just you guys and your raw skills. I think, I think, look, I'm like a product of the internet era, you know, like I'm very fortunate to where like I got to grow up without the internet and with the internet all at the same time. So I know kind of what both sides are like, but, um, you know, I, I've had to throughout my career use social media as this tool, right, for, for music, for, for any of my, my projects, but also just, just for real life. And I know how intrusive social media can be with fans and people kind of digging information. So I kind of can reverse engineer it and know like what I need to be searching, who I need to be looking at in order to find these, these, these clues. Mm -hmm. Travis is excellent at that. There was, he, he's just on it and very, very quick and very, and, and, and the advice that he gives is just so insightful. And I'm like, Oh, I need, I need to use that. Um, <laughs> and like in, in, in my preparation, it was just literally like, I mean, Travis also mentions it, but like doing the work, you know, emotionally, um, it took a long time for me to get to a place where I'm like happily married, all that good stuff, because your girl made some mistakes and got her feelings hurt several times. And where you're in this place of just not knowing who you are emotionally and being um, immature in that way. And I guess I come at it from a place of maturity uh, at this point in my life. Um, and what I've experienced and bringing that to the table and um, making sure that I'm uh, not being judgmental when I come into these situations, whether that be judging the person that's doing the hiding or 
judging the person that decides that three years in and and now they're trying to seek answers. So just coming from a place of understanding was my uh, primary focus um, in preparation for this. That's yeah, that that's great. And also, I'm curious, the person who's um, being investigated, I know they're told, oh, they're participating in this fun little something. How hard was it to, to hide what you guys were doing from that other person? Uh, it wasn't hard for us, right? Because we weren't the ones like we had no contact with them until until we had to have contact with them. And, and by that time, it's like, hey, you know, this is what show you're doing. Um, what's really interesting when you watch a show, too, is like you really get kind of behind the scenes of the relationship before we even meet anyone. So mm -hmm. these people, they know they're going to be on a show right? Because they've invited cameras into their, into their homes and places of work and stuff. They just don't necessarily know the full extent of what type of show they're on, right? So it's not a surprise when we show up with the cameras and stuff because they signed up for it. But I feel like the shock kind of sets in when they're expected to like sit down and be like, all right, everything's coming out now. Like, let's set the table. The truth needs to be, you know, told. Um, and that's where people sometimes need a little coaching and like, hey, if you're not honest, they're going to leave and this relationship is going to be done. So yeah. if you want to be with this person, like it's time to come clean. Yep. Yeah. 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 And are you guys sort of surprised with how um, shocked they are? Because like you said, you, they have all these tools at their disposal as well. Like it's not like you guys are pulling out any special tools to like do investigating. Are you sort of surprised that maybe they hadn't gone these routes on their own beforehand? Yeah, I mean, there's definitely a level of like, you, you didn't see these red flags at all. You didn't yeah. look, but it's also one of those things where th th these are people that are being gaslit by someone that they care about and someone that they love, right? They're asking questions and they're getting, no, it's fine. Or, or excuses that seem plausible a year ago, but now we're three years in and suddenly and now the gears are starting to turn. And sometimes people don't want to know the truth. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's also... A part of it until they feel like okay now I'm embarrassed or I can't move forward in this relationship unless I know the truth and they are at their wits end and that's why we're here and um you know we try to get them to sit down and have an open and honest conversation and some people stay together some people don't mm -hmm. sometimes you're rooting for them to stay together and other times you're like well you know that might have been the best decision to leave yeah. um so it just it just runs the gamut here okay and did you guys check in with some of your couples later on like weeks later or something or months later i don't know when this was filmed but to see what happened um so we definitely we have a thing called dakota um where we'll get we get updated a couple months after uh after these cases are are behind us okay so we might leave with it being great and then come to find out oh boy maybe they had you know uh further conversations because once we leave obviously we're done yeah. And then the real work starts, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's like, how do you pick up the pieces after we've just come and said, here's the deal. Yeah. Um, so it, 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 yeah. So we'll see, we'll see how they really turn out. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you break up and then two weeks later, well, <laughs> so <laughs> or vice versa, you never know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, this show is just so much fun. Um, it's so fast moving. I can only imagine what it's like being in it, you know, constantly like what's happening. Um, but yeah, we can't wait for the season to start. So I appreciate your time today. Thank you, Thank so, you much so much for having us. Professional detectives now. You can add that to your <laughs> resume. Add, add, add that to the resume. Right? Yeah.